All right, righty, right. Fresh new cut. Loving that. Or liking that. Let's get the chat out if we capable of doing that. Uh huh. Uh huh. That much. Building NFV tools. Tailwind. React. We are streaming boys. Papa Americano. Hello, 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 hello. Click, 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 click. Hello, 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 test, 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 click, 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 click. Okay, that's good enough for now. Yoink. Yoink. Small second. Um, let's see. What is this? Boom. This course should be Alright, cool. Alright. The policy of the config. All right, makes sense. This one, like this. Oh, 
Oh, we have this open already. Sorry. My bad. So what's a server address? That. Uh huh. Oh, nice. Show conversation. What? Yes. Alright. Go. What? <laughs> Fix on commit this. Yep. Exactly this thing. Update. Nice. Mm, resolve. All right. Let me notify our friends that we are streaming. Copy this e life mm, e life. Oops, and we life. Alrighty. Um, transition, huh? What is life? <laughs> Twitch downloader, chat downloader. Can we? Twitch dragger videos. Recent podcast. Yep. This and then this takes on. Ooh, big, huge data. Should we install PDA here? X video, right? 
do we have prettier no npm install pretty yes and then pretty npx pretty right yep uh rx oh look at this Let's do some interesting thing, huh? Twitch. Whoa, sorry. Um, Twitch. Chat. Um, can you download video? Um, video download. Oh, it's like this. That's nice. That's nice. Go. Oh, it's downloading. Um, should do some GitHub. Oh, the network. It's the hello. Hello. Oh, it just, is it taking my bandwidth? Crap. It's taking my bandwidth. Crap, crap, crap. Load. Profile. Mm. Twitch downloader. You don't even need this. Yes. Pull request. Issue. DF, not this one, not DF at all. get on the twitch video address. uh 
I'm wondering if there is a um, Twitch uh, app website out there for podcast actually. So it took me long to figure out. I still don't know the user application. Mm-hmm. Would this work? Let's see. Let's yoink this. And let's test it on our, our media. Yep. Ah, media temp can. Yep. Um, let's see Twitch. This is a name when you okay Shraga your clan ID why do you need one mm, no when was it two years ago Oh, you can just do like this. God damn it. Um, GG. This. What doesn't support this? You serious? Um, hey. this Python script will output the last podcast ID Pacific. Uh, I see so Shraga and run this nope turn let's see then if we client ID API for getting the video ID. Twitch. Twitch. It's out putting the video. Oh, oh, we dropped some frames. That sucks. Oh, camera, it's not good. Oh, it's in my video. What is this? What the hell? Stupid. I can re oh, client ID right there. Could I use this in your teeny weeny scripts? Um, Python, this. <laughs> Data. 
Wait, do we get anything? Okay. Go. No data. Oh, we get nothing in data, but in line. Let's see. JSON that load. Ah, oh, it's primitive. Oh. Let's go here. Let's... I guess that ID doesn't work. Could we request something to let's, let's send some data to the thing? Oh, shred. Stragger video would be. Oh, I got a headache now. Damn it. What was this video? Um. We are dropping frames like nuts. Look at this. This one and then this here. Go. Not fair. <laughs> nice one. Karen Shrag it and video ideas. Oh, it's the wrong video. Stragger. Now I'm talking. Not found. Not found. Not found. What? Not found? What the hell are you talking about?
sure it would be the uh for downloading video is it even possible to down is it any good tutorials on making um, mud stack wait a minute There's one there, there's one there, one there. And this will not work. Bye bye. Document database, not the other web framework, plain side framework. Web React. Where's next? What's the point of next JS then? So I got to learn like separately. Build install MongoDB. Start. Nice. Web development moon stack. Web development. React Angular Web Development Course Yes please Um with Redux View Learn Node.js Oh we got Flash Oh we got Django PHP for beginner TypeScript Oh, Angular Node is mean. Oh, we got mean stack here. Mean PHP. Mean. Where the fuck is Mern? We need Mern stack, boys. Master Microsystem Spring Ruby on Rails. Modern. Modern JavaScript meaning. Why does it keep flickering? Alright. Alright, 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 alright. Let's moon stack. There we go. Microservices, yes. Mean PHP for beginner. This PHP. Ew. There we go, Moon Stack. And this is good one. Not bad. Nice oh, microsystems. Is this spring? Docker Kubernetes. What? That's it.
What are the requirements of this? Mm, no requirements. Fake news. Fake news. Let's look at this thing. Yes, please. As usual, the password always get wrong. Okay. Uh, I'll show you a very simple example that starts uh, a minute. Wait, hello? Oh! Properties. Default. Hello? 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 A new document. Empty, nothing very exciting to see in here. Uh, there's some... Yo, yo, hello? Okay, that's good. Oh, we're dropping frames? God damn it. Content in here that I'll come back to. I'm ignoring it for now. I'll just comment it out. And I'm going to add in, how about a div uh, with a class of circle? I'm going to style it as a circle. Okay, uh, and... Ah, uh, how VS Code is. Let's funny. see. I'm gonna leave it completely empty. Then in my app.css, got a whole bunch of stuff in here. Wait, uh, aren't we installing stuff here? This is done first now. Uh, temp. I mean, learning stuff. What HTML? I'm going to comment that all out. I'll explain why it's here momentarily. Uh, but I'm going to begin by just styling that circle div to have a width of, I don't know, 300 pixels, a height of 300 pixels, and a color, or background color rather, of, um, hmm, sure, magenta. Okay, there it is. Now, I did say it has a class of circle, so let's actually make it a circle of 300 pixels and a color, or for two. I'm going to comment that all out. I'll explain why it's here. All right. Get to coding, my boys. Fuck you. Fuck you. Transition. Dot. Was nice. Now I got 16 GB of 16 gigs of RAM. I can open so many tabs. We need to worry about things. Now. Go. Nice, nice, nice. Yes, 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 yes. Um. It's here momentarily. Uh, but I'm going to begin by just styling that circle div. Circle div. Div um, with the ID of circle. Should we use something else rather than this? Oh, we should use Vim first. Let's try Vim um, transition, yes. And then I'm gonna create a view file transition.css. Then dot circle. You can say what? To have a width. Of, I don't know, 300 pixels, a height of 300 pixels, and a color, or background color rather, of, um, hmm, sure, magenta. Okay, there it is. Now, I did say it has a class of circle, so let's actually make it a circle. Border radius 50%. And now we have a beautiful circle. Okay, now. Border radius, border, border, and then radius 50%. We get a circle looking. File slash that okay. Transition. 
Yikes. Hello? Hello, hello, Firefox. This. Nope. Nope. Um. Oh, we got this. Oh, it's an ID. The frack. Boom. When I hover over this circle, hover, I'm going to change the color to be cyan. See if that works. Okay. What? How did he make that? For two, I'm going to comment. There. I'm going to leave it completely empty. Oh! I'm stupid. They didn't link my CSS. Um, ref equals style sheet, which is href to transition the CSS, and then now we have the perfect looking circle in entire universe. Boom. Um, let's change this to transition. Transition. Did I spell this correct? Yep, did spell this correct. And let's go. And then we can do circle on hover, right? On hover, we could. Change the background color to cyan. And then now, if we go look here, <coughs> oh, oh, look at that! Look at that! Look at that! Some flicker. Then in my app.css, got a whole bunch of stuff in here too. I'm going to comment that all out. I'll explain why it's here momentarily. Uh, but I'm going to begin by just styling that Ooh, circle div to have a width of, I don't know, 300 pixels, a height of 300 pixels, and a color, or background color rather, of, um, hmm, sure, magenta. Okay, there it is. Now I did say it has a class of circle, so let's actually make it a circle. Border radius, 50%. And now we have a beautiful circle. Okay. Now, when I hover over this circle, hover, I'm going to change the color to be cyan. See if that works. Okay, that works great. Uh, I'm also going to, hmm, maybe I won't have it be a circle now, but when I hover, I will have it be a circle. Like that. Okay? So, no oh. transitions involved at the moment. Um, let's see. So, then this. so it will be... A uh, it would be the square, I guess. Yeah. Look at that. I like oh, the snap. We have multiple properties that are changing on the page. Is transition important in website making? Uh, um, Tesla.com. Ah. Oh my god. Best transition website. What the hell? Mm. 
go. Alright. Tesla. I'm spawning Tesla. Four, four. Tesla like this. Click. 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 Model Y, Model S. Fade in. Uh -huh. I see what they are doing with this stuff. Shit, the loading page. Alright, let's switch to another mirror. Alright, you in. Alright, oh, Singapore. Oh, let's take this. Is it Indonesia or something? Clearly, we are dropping some frames. Yo, yo, yo. Nice website you go going on Tesla. No page up. All right. Yep. Doesn't load fast, huh? It's like snappy. I'm Or on this one element, right? The background color and border radius, but it's an immediate, like a switch, right? It's flickering between them. It's not very graceful, but I can transition them. I can say that I want the color and the border radius to take one full second to change. So don't just flip immediately, but take a full second to fade between. And to do that, I can set transition to be one second, just like that. One S. And now as I hover, whoa, now that is Freaking cool. Transition one second. Now you Let's make it two. Uh -huh. Let's make it five. You three seconds is big. Two instant. You nice one. 
Very nice. The next firmware. Ooh, look at that. Is transition in um, important for a website? Poor transition under. Huh. Spicy, spicy. Uh, it should be like popping monthly. I hate transition. So that's one second, right? I can do like three seconds if I want to. Okay, very slow. Uh, but you can see that both of those properties, or if I had other things that were changing, they would all be uh, animated. That transition would be animated. Now, it's not always just hovering. That's a very common example, but in JavaScript, you'll often apply oh classes, my God. move classes, some uh, and change styles on the fly, and you can still apply transitions to that. So it's not just about, you know, when you hover over something and switch from one uh, CSS property to another property. There are other situations. But for now, this is the easiest way for me to demonstrate. Uh, so that's a very, very simple example, setting everything to transition for three seconds. But the syntax actually goes a lot further than that. I can specify specific property name, how long I want that one property to take to transition, a delay, and then the most confusing part when you're beginning, a timing function. So why don't we start by just singling out property name. So instead of saying three seconds uh, for everything, which is what I'm actually saying here, if there were other properties changing, they would all be animated uh, during that transition. I can single out background color, just like that. And now only the background color will take three seconds. You can see the border radius changes immediately. What? So, uh, you know, you probably don't want that, but we can't transition background color. Oh, you can do this too. I see. Oh, when you transition this. Uh huh. And single them out. You can transition background. Back background color. I believe this is cool way to do that. Oh, nice. Damn, yeah, didn't know about that. One second delay. So now when I hover, it's going to take one second before that transition even begins. It's kind of hard to see because of how slow the whole... So, uh... I can add more things to this. So, uh, you know, you probably don't want that, but we can single them out. Uh, I also can do things like specify a delay. So uh, let's see, I want a one second delay. So now when I hover, it's gonna take one second before that transition even begins. It's kind of hard to see because of how Oh, dang. So it take one second delay, huh? So you could snap, one second delay, and then change. Blow the whole thing is. Uh, but if I make this a one second transition and it takes one second before anything happens, so I hover, nothing, there we go. Okay, nothing and then one. Oh. Yep. Dun, 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 dun. Mm -hmm. Yep. Oh, it's one second. It goes both to... directions. One second wait, one second change. One second wait, one second change. And we're just talking about background color. Uh, if you want all properties, you can also just specify all like that. And now the same thing will happen. One second of nothing, and then one second, both properties change. All right, so that's the basic idea of transition. I'm just going to go back to uh, background color. I can also specify different transitions for each one. So background color can take one second, and border radius can take two seconds. And you'll see first, one second of color, it finishes before the border radius finishes. It's a bit hard to, to pay attention to, but hopefully you can see that. This thing will be fully cyan before it's a circle. Okay, now there is this third thing that we can specify, which is a timing function. And to I see. 
so you could do one second so background color would be first and then I want border radius to be true tracking so the color will become first and then yeah What an asshole is it? Ah, it's this. Yep. Ah. <laughs> nice. Illustrate that. Uh, I actually have a demo I've already pre made. Am I dropping frames like crazy now? 15%. Dropping frames. Hello, hello. Check, 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 check. <laughs> check, 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 check. Yeah, that, that's good enough, I believe. Oh, user in chat. Doesn't even load. Nice. <sighs> Alright, I'll take a break. I'll be back. just to save some time so i've got these sections here or right, one I'm section back. rather with four divs and um just gonna add some styling in here really quickly okay so i added some styling in here uh they each just are a turquoise 100 by 100 square uh and they have a transition on their margin left which typically we don't actually animate uh, in the next video i'm going to show you a better property a more performant property to animate to move things around but you will see that when i hover over this section every div is going to have a new margin left of 500 pixels so they end up moving 500 pixels to the right and I give them a transition on that margin left, three full seconds, okay? So right now, there's nothing different than what we've talked about, right? It's a single property, a duration. But I mentioned we would cover this timing function. So when we specify a transition, there are many ways, if we have three seconds, let's say, there are many ways to go from red to blue in three seconds. Do we just go evenly, just, you know, in a line as smooth as possible? Or do we start really quickly and then slow down at the end? There's a whole set of these transition timing functions that are built in. Uh, they they have names like E. I want to try that. So I want to have. I want to circle. Let's make this a square. What that spell correct? Square, square. And then we want um. It's an ID. Square. Oh, we want a width, width to be 100 pixels, and then height to be 100 pixels, and then a background color to be man. I mean, let me cyan first, and then. Mm, then for now, we could do square dot. Hover, hover, and then we make the margin left to move 500 pixels. So now, if we do this, and oh my god, look at that flicker!
Oh, holy shit. It's not supposed to move everything. Oh, we should make this as a container. As a. Aha, uh -huh, we could make this as a section, as a whole thing. And then. And then we could do not square, square it's. Oh, it's an ID. We could do. We could do session diff. No wonder why he did that. Man. And then. When we hover. Oh my god. An, uh, session. Session. Yeah, when we hover to session, we don't move that. This is correct. And then if we sign. Then if we put. God damn. Oh, we need to put transition. Two second. Yes, please. No. Um. Diff. Margin of two. So. Yes, and then. There's no like. <sighs> is, 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 we have three seconds, let's say. But it's moving too quick. Look at that. But you will see that when I hover over this. Oh, you don't want to move the section itself. God fucking damn it. Right. I see now you're talking. I just want to move there. There you go. So it's hover. Let me see. Section. Square. Bad, bad practice. Bad, bad, bad. Nice. So, you want to. Oh, let's see. Hover. Hover. Right. So you hover over session and it moves all the divs. So let's see, you hover. Wait, what? You hover. No, you hover over this. Let me check this. Check. 
Nice. Section. Every div is going to have a new margin left of 500 pixels, so they end up moving 500 pixels to the right. And I give them a transition on that margin left. Three full seconds. Okay? So right now, there's nothing different than what we've talked about, right? It's oh, we got an property. email. Don't want to expose this. Oh my god. Ouch. Ouch. This is an ouch. I think I'll be shop streaming now because I need to go work out and play some basketball with my friends. So yeah. Peace out, boys.